In this video, I'm going to take you through how to set up a subdomain of an existing site on Convertry. Now, this is for when you've got your main site already, you know, maybe you've got your homepage, your blog, and all that kind of thing, and for whatever reason, you don't want that stuff hosted on Convertry itself. Now, sometimes this is sensible, you know, especially if you've got a blog, that's not really what Convertry is designed for. You're better off using a system like WordPress. So this is for when you've got your main site on a domain and you don't want to move it, but you do want your sales funnels in Convertry on the same domain. So what we can do in this case is set up a subdomain and point that at Convertry. And that way you can publish all your Convertry pages directly from the app onto that subdomain with no messing around with plugins and no messing around with FTP. So an example of when you might want to do this is this site here. So this is my own site, um, neilmerton.com. It's one I used to have when I was a freelance copywriter. Um, you can see I've got my blog, uh, my contact page, And here there's a link to a book that I wrote. Now I don't want the main site on Convertry because with the blog this is the kind of site that's just better on WordPress, but I do want the sales page for my book on there because I want the benefit of the fast load speeds and not being forced into whatever design this theme can give me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up offers.neilmerton.com on Convertry. So when someone clicks this link, I can direct them to a fast loading Convertry page that's still on my domain. So first of all, we're going to go into the domain registrar. In this example, it's GoDaddy, so if you're using a different host, it's going to look a bit different, but the process should be pretty similar. So in GoDaddy, this list of domains is the first thing we see when we log in. So we're going to find our domain, um, .com. Um We'll find that in the list, and then we'll hit DNS. Then we want to add a new record. Under type, we want CNAME. In host, we want to put our subdomain, and we want to publish our pages on offers.neilmerton.com, so we'll put offers in here. And you know, this could be anything. You could use sales or cats or David Bowie. Like It's entirely up to you. The important thing is that you only put the subdomain in here, like just offers, not the full domain. If you do use the full domain, things will break. In points two, put custom.convertry.com. Some registrars will want a dot at the end of the dot .com. Um, they should throw up an error message if they need one. Uh, GoDaddy doesn't, so we just use custom.convertry.com. TTL, uh, leave that as one hour. And then we save, and we can see our new CNAME record has been added to the list. Now we go to Convertry, and we go to Account in the top menu, and then Domains. Then we click on Add a new domain via CNAME. And we type our domain in here, offers.neilmerton.com, and then hit add. And now we can see our domain in the list. And you can see this one here already says active, so the DNS has already updated. You might see it say not configured. Don't worry about this, all it means is the DNS hasn't updated yet. Um, sometimes, like this can take a while to happen. Um, sometimes you can see it's pretty instant, but it can take anywhere up to 24 hours. You can make Convertry check the settings again, either by clicking the Run Checks Again button, which you'll see next to the Not Configured Indicator, or by refreshing this page. If they haven't updated after 24 hours, so if after, like if you refresh this page after 24 hours and you don't see active yet, contact your domain registrar and they should be able to sort you out. When your DNS is updated, the next and final job is to activate SSL. So I'm going to do that now by clicking the Enable SSL button here. And there we are, all done. We can now publish pages on this domain directly from Convertry. And to show you everything working in practice, I've now set up a funnel on offers.neilmerton.com and I've added my sales page into it. So now we'll just go into there. And we'll hit publish. And there we are, we can see the sales page is live on a subdomain. 
All I need to do now is change the link on my WordPress site to go here, and it means people will be able to go from my site to the sales page and it'll all be on the same domain. And that's all you need to do to set this up. Thanks for watching.